So what is research culture? Research culture encompasses the behaviours, values, expectations, attitudes and the norms of our research communities. It shapes the ecosystem in which we operate, it influences who is doing research, what research is done and how that research is communicated. Research culture impacts on a whole range of areas in the research system, including the integrity of research, diversity and inclusion in research, the career paths that researchers follow, reward and recognition, open science and the ethos of collaboration in the research system. So why is research culture important? Why should we care about research culture? Poor research culture has really serious implications. For example, it can slow progress towards open science, it can discourage interdisciplinarity, and it can inhibit the flow of researchers between academia, government and industry. It can have detrimental knock-on effects that resonate throughout the research system, affecting the ability to recruit the best researchers and to support an innovative and creative research environment. For all these reasons and more, if you care about the excellence of research, you should also care about the culture in which our research is generated. Why are we talking about it? Currently, there are many individuals and organisations who have been working to address single issues that contribute to research culture. But all of these issues have the same underlying causes. And those are the highly competitive environment combined with the very narrow definitions for success. Let's look at a specific example that illustrates the point. The routine publication of negative results would be a huge benefit to the research community by reducing the need to repeat studies unnecessarily. There are a range of initiatives that have been set up to try to encourage these kinds of publications, but despite all these efforts, current research culture seems only to reward groundbreaking or novel research. So rather than thinking about negative results as a single issue, we should be thinking much more holistically about how to create a culture that both recognises and rewards the full range of activities that characterise high quality research. What is the Royal Society doing about this? Through our national conversation on what an ideal future research culture might look like, we've already started discussions with the research community, and based on this, we've been talking to government and other organisations across the research landscape about reforming the systems that shape culture. But this isn't just about us, it's also about you. We need you to join the conversation. We've worked with others to develop a whole suite of materials that aim to inspire and enable you to start conversations about research culture where you are. It doesn't matter what role you're in, your level of seniority, we should all of us be asking ourselves, how can I improve research culture? <laughs>